South Acres. I love the music. The Greens. No, nah, stop. Hip. <laughs> no, nah, stop. We got a sound. Real hip hop. All new 93.7 The Beat. It's Ashley with two E's on the all new 93.7 The Beat. Now I have one returning guest. We'll get to him later, but one new guest, y'all. Hey, what's up? Welcome, Angela. Hello. You guys may recognize her from some TV shows. She has a YouTube channel. Um, but oh, there's this other person here. Oh, <laughs> wow. I just don't matter. Two I know. Ladies in the building, not matter. Well, I've seen you like ten times. My first time meeting her, so I'm like, mm, I already. Yeah, I'm one right now, so hey. Yes. Go ahead and take the mic. <laughs> Let her excel. Okay. But we had Nelson and Angela here. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Happy to be here. Happy to be here. What's up, Houston, Texas? Stand up. We in a building. Angela, have you been to Houston before? I've never been to Houston before. This is a first for me. Okay, so what's your, I know you've been to Austin before, but what's your impression so far of Houston? I like it better than Austin. <laughs> I know, I think it, Houston comes uh, often. And she, and she came on like a pretty regular weekend, like... We yeah. haven't even brought her for like the All Star shit, All-Star like yeah, <laughs> like. All oh, she's been is to the gallery, and now it, she I loves love them Houston. All. I'm all about the malls. Yeah, <laughs> the gallery is like a a visiting point in Houston, mm-hmm. but she got to come back during like James Harden weekend, right, right. Trade Day, all, all that stuff. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, Houston's amazing. They have a lot going on out here, a lot. So what brings y'all out here? Honestly, um, I wanted to show her around Texas. You mm-hmm. know, she's never been to Austin. She's never been to Houston. She's never been to the South, I think. Yeah, this is my first time to Texas in general, and I want to visit his family, mm-hmm. and, you know, meet some of them, and I've been having a good time doing that. Tell them how you like the heat, though. I don't like the heat. <laughs> I'm a hair and makeup kind of girl, and here it's like either or. You can't do both, because then you're just sticky and sweaty, so that's why I have my hair today. Like, I could not handle it. That's one thing I do not like. Listen. Okay. Is it, you have your natural hair then? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> so you don't even know. <laughs> you, you don't even know <laughs> what's going on right now. But no, makeup, yes. You have to wear like seven moisturizers out here and five primers. And what is it? Baking? All Baking the setting powder. powder. Yes. The whole nine. God, sounds like a recipe. I'm waiting. <laughs> Listen, you need to come back without them so we can have like real <laughs> like no, right? makeup. <laughs> Shopping talk. I think I should. I think I should. You guys, I know that um, they're, they're probably most recognizable from TV, uh, but you guys are, you have your YouTube channel hey. up and popping. You're starting your channel, right, correct? Right. Okay. I definitely got a YouTube ch- channel coming soon, people. I'm very excited about it. I know I've talked about it for a while. Mm-hmm. I know I have, but, you know, I had to take time and really think what I wanted to pursue and what I could love. In this industry that I'm trying to pursue, I had to find my niche. And it's the fitness industry, yep. which I'm going to venture off to business and all. But definitely look out for this YouTube channel. It'll be a, the link will be on my Instagram. Will be promoted through other Instagram followers, and I'm super excited. And um, just to give y'all a little bit about my YouTube channel, it's basically me traveling the world, interviewing trainers, mm-hmm. business people, and why they do what they do, and why they love it, and what kind of motivation and inspiration can you give our younger generation nowadays because I think we all look for that and I didn't have that growing up so I think that's one of the things I would love to pursue it's also going to consider health fitness and a lot of things that just stay looking good yeah what I love that we're talking about YouTube and our great camera guy who's behind the camera (laughs) Aaron um my boss who you guys just met they're older they're like 50 you know 45 whatever and I tell them the importance of YouTube filming archiving our information or whatever and they don't understand the revenue source it can be also like branding yourself but do you guys find youtube a better investment than tv is oh, it absolutely. okay I think that's a question for oh my right god <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, it's gonna be popping because i'm showing him the ropes okay okay I've yeah around the block a few times mm-hmm. on youtube but for youtube it just i love youtube because i'm able to edit my own content the way that i like as opposed to being on tv and having myself look all crazy based on what producers want me to look like so you're executive TV. producing yeah, yeah I'm yourself executive producer i do mm-hmm. my own camera I, I do everything like i'm a one woman show and that's what i like about it as opposed to being on tv where you have so many different people giving their opinions like pushing you in certain directions like no this is all me mm-hmm. so that's what my viewers and subscribers get to see do you guys I know you're starting out, but do you guys see yourself going back to TV? Kind of going back and forth or what? Or just oh, stay no in YouTube? Doubt. No, I, I do. Know. I do. Yeah. I definitely I, do. I, I definitely don't do. know. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a plethora of shows at this point. Yeah. Competition shows, dating shows, talk shows, 
and I just don't know if I like it. Mm. You know, I just think that every time I go on a show, I'm portrayed a certain way, and then I go on to the next one thinking that it's going to be something different, and it's always the same exact thing. So I think I'm going to retire. Yeah. I think I'm done. Ooh, don't yeah. count it out just ready. yet. No, don't no. count it out just yet. <laughs> no, it, reality TV has made me a little bit salty for sure. Okay, so I understand that because I I watch it. I watch and see it play out. But I have to say, Angela's probably the realest bitch on TV, like on these shows. Because whenever y'all did, I think it was the Ex on the Beach reunion. Was it? Or was it the challenge? But you were like, run me my money. I was like, bitch, yes. (laughs) Like, yes. Yeah. Well, I feel like I'm too real for the rest of my castmates sometimes, and they can't handle it, and they can't handle it off the show, too. So I bring home all of my drama and all this. It's just like, it's so stressful. I just want to chill and enjoy my home life. Mm-hmm. I'm a homebody. You know, I might look crazy and like all that on TV, but at home, I'm just like super chill. So when I bring all that drama back at home, it's just like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Yeah. But still running my money, though, because it still owes me. <laughs> So now here I say it again. Tarai, you still owe me money. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and bleep that out. Money is still owed. Like she's saying, um, reality TV does take a toll on you. And mm-hmm. sometimes, you know, you got to sit back and realize, like, is this what I really want to do? And we're portrayed as people that we're really not on TV. Yeah. You know? And when we, when we walk outside, we see our fans and they think they know who we really are, but they really don't, you know, because we get judged a lot. Mm-hmm. But, um... I definitely see TV in my future, especially me, because I'm pursuing acting. Yeah. That's one of my goals. That's one thing I love to do, and that's my dream. But um, has reality TV helped us along that way and opened doors for us? Yes, it has. I've met amazing people, and it's been a blessing. So you can't knock reality TV that no, bad. No, because I met you. Yeah, no doubt. I met her. I met my that was a silver like, lining. Yeah. 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 Um, but we've had a difficult road because of it, and we put our lives out there so much, and everyone just feels like, they have an opinion, like, obviously everybody has an opinion, but mm-hmm. they also feel like they need to tell us what to do. Like, oh, you can't be with him because he did this. Like, we're just like everybody else. The only difference is, like, our problems are, like, put on blast because we're on TV yeah. and, like, on social media and all that. And, like, once we got, we would get into a fight and unfollow each other, everyone's like, oh, my gosh, they're broken up. So, like, we've learned to, like, calm down and chill and, like, we're each other's, like, teammates and partners. And, like, now we've learned that, like, the more private we are about, like, what we're going through, the better. And exactly. that's what I've learned with being with him. We definitely want to keep our relationship more private, even though I tell her sometimes, like, our fans, we owe our fans some kind of response of where we're at in life, because if we, without our fans, we wouldn't be where we're at mm-hmm. now. And it's, um, it's, it's kind of difficult when you start a relationship on reality TV, especially what makes it easier for me is because she's been there. Mm-hmm. I can relate to her. She yeah. can relate to me. So it makes it easier for me when things are on my mind or I just can't handle things no more and I can express myself. Talking to somebody that's not on reality TV, they're like, "What? You, you just got you got the life. You're a star. You're yeah. doing this. You're traveling this." And I'm like, "No, you don't see everything that goes on behind the scenes and what yeah. we go through." So it's a lot, and to have her to, on my side is amazing. Yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, stop it! <laughs> that's so cute. The cameraman is blushing too. <laughs> now I was gonna say, I think. Angela, you said on, I think it was a YouTube video, you were saying, like, you're different from these other people because you started on Bad Girls Club, and that's a different situation than whatever the challenge or whatever is. Is that, is it, would you return to a dating show? No. Hold on, hold on. I was just about to say, I was just about to say. Obviously. No, because you're taken, yeah. Obviously, yeah. I'm taken, I wouldn't. I just feel like Bad Girls Club was different compared to the rest of the shows because I honestly with MTV people they manufacture drama on Twitter and they start like I was gonna say y'all be throwing shots on Twitter boy yeah, <laughs> but it's all fake and then they'll come and hit me up and be like oh well let's just get, let's get this show together let's be rivals let's do this and it's like no at least with Bad Girls Club the beef was real oh like, yeah it was real enough where we were hitting each other and those fights weren't you know pushed by anybody like we were just out there fighting and mm-hmm. that beef continued off the show too so it's like with these like mtv people like no offense i just feel like a lot of it is fake and everybody's trying to have their own like come up and get another show and if they know that they have beef with me they're gonna get that so 
I agree with her, no doubt about that. I've seen it. I've actually seen people really? coming after her just yeah. to get on the show. Like grown men. What yeah. do you mean? Come after you? Like what do you mean? Like, like oh, okay, like, got you. Not like physically attack me or anything. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, no, I mean, you just no, told no. me the Galleria hobo story, so like that's, <laughs> what, that's what I'm thinking. No, he's, like, he's, he's very protective over me. Mm-hmm. He's like the first to like jump in and like all that stuff. But like, I have like 30, 35 year old castmates coming for me, like. Yeah talking like throwing like dragging me through the mud and it's crazy and it's because th- they're doing this for a show that's it and then like they'll hit me up and be like well let's just get the show started like no i don't like no doubt oh see it. okay definitely it's see sick. It. but it's some of the beef on reality tv or mtv real gets away i yeah. can't knock that like if i see you it's yeah. on site it, yeah no, outside <laughs> outside of reality tv cool you go your way i go my way while we're filming the show i don't get along with certain people on the show i yeah. just don't like that person no offense, I'm not gonna be fake. This is who I am. Mm-hmm. If I don't like you. We don't get along. You, you steer me the wrong way. Then I'm gonna let you know. So I'm not gonna lie. Some of the beef on reality TV, MTV, the challenge, X on the beach, are you the one? Some of that beef is real. Mm-hmm. Some people take it a little too far and they get into your personal life outside the show. And that's when you gotta cut the line off. And yeah. Her, I'm looking at her Twitter. I'm looking at her DMs, and people are just coming at her just to, just to get another show, just to get booked. And it, it, it's sad. It's sad because that's not oh, the way you so, need to do it. So it's like if you bring them up, then MTV is going to be like, oh, you yeah. don't like this? Oh, okay, got it's you. Okay, got you. They it's know with chasing. me, the beef is always real. And I'm going to like <laughs> literally going to yeah. attack you if yeah. I have to. And, and MTV knows that. My castmates know that. So I'm an easy target for them and an easy person to like. Because I did, I was the only ex on the beach um, single from season one who was on two seasons. So people see that. They're like, I want to be her ex. Everybody's trying to date me now. Right. You know, just mm. the next so day. they can get called. Yeah. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah. And you gotta realize this with this generation, social media is such a huge thing. So people look at her as like a money bag. Yeah. Let me go ahead and clout chase her, get my followers up, and pray I get a phone. And call. that's why I don't trust anybody in this industry except for him. Like mm-hmm. that's why he's like my best friend. He's like my number one. Anybody else, like if you do reality TV, I am very hesitant to associate myself with you because I've seen what it's done for him. Even my friends, I don't even have any more friends. Than 